Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix the corrupted hard drive issue in Windows 10 or 11. But before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and just don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Scan for viruses and malware. Malware and viruses can cause corrupted hard drive issues. To check for issues, conduct a complete computer scan using an authorized antivirus or anti-malware tool. Number 2. Assign or change the drive letter. For this, in the Windows search bar, search for Disk Management. After this, right-click the corrupted partition and select the Change Drive Letter and Paths option. After this, just click the Change option and if there is no drive letter, click Add instead. Then choose a drive letter from the drop down menu and just click OK. Number 3. Update or reinstall drivers. Corrupted hard drives might be the result of old or incompatible drivers. Just download the most recent drivers for a specific model for the manufacturer's website or the individual hardware component's website. Number 4. Repair using CHK DFK. For this, open Start. Search for command prompt, right click the top result and just select the run as administrator option. After this, type chkdsk slash f c and press enter. Make sure to replace c with the letter of the drive you want to check if it's not your system drive. Then just press y when prompted to schedule a disk check on the next restart. After this, just simply again restart your PC. Number 5. Perform SFC and DISM. System file check and DISM are two Windows features that will be utilized in this manner. To check corrupted hardware issues and replace damaged system files with functional ones, use system file check. Number 6. Use disk check utility. For this, open file explorer and locate the corrupted hard drive. After this, right click on the drive and select the properties option. Then in the properties window, go to the tools tab and click on the check button under the error checking section. After this, if prompted, select the option to scan and fix errors. Then just wait for the utility to complete the scanning and fixing process. After this, just again start a computer to check the function. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.